everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 36 of this journey to the Ultimate Ultimate Team. And as you guys see up on screen, in the last episode we went on and sold our Bundesliga team, kind of cleared them from the watch list, and went and picked ourselves up a silver team. As I've been really wanting to try out a few silver players, and I did promise you guys last year, I think in FIFA 13, we would eventually use a Saudi League side. So, when it made a Saudi League team, we got, I think, two, I think, two five-star skillers. Uh, Torres and then the other one is Al Friday. So uh, we're gonna try them out Another thing guys. Sorry for not uploading yesterday. I am not well at the moment I don't know if you guys can tell but uh, yeah, I couldn't do a commentary yesterday I literally tried five or six times and it, I couldn't get past two minutes on the commentary So we're gonna see how this one goes and also I need to buy a center mid because I kind of forgot about him So I went and bought him but I bought another player by accident and I think I list him up for around 600 coins more We'll see him in just a second I actually did a mistake, but you'll see that actually turns out to be a bonus. So we're going to go through just do a bit of club maintenance, make sure they all have adequate fitness. And this year, guys, I feel the Saudi League is kind of neglected because they do have some insane players. And in this team itself, my two center attacking mids are both five-star skillers. I want to get Jobson because I've been told he's absolutely insane to have on this game. So we might see Jobson in an upcoming episode. But if you guys want to buy this team, I'll leave a link, uh, I think, in the next episode for the Foothead League. Or you guys can just go and buy this team. I think they're under 6,000 coins. So very cheap, very fun. And if you guys wanted to learn skills and just have a bit of a play about, I'd say this is one of the teams I would recommend. So uh, I'm going to go and show you guys. I'm going to have a bit of skill in this episode. Also, I don't know if I'm going to have a question of the day because at the moment I still can't think of one. So <laughs> you guys see up in here, we got Victor Samos as our, I think it's our striker. Not really used him yet in the game, but I've been told he's decent. And also Footed has quite a few thumbs up for him. So we're going to go to the semi-final for our first game. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see how it goes. So we put a couple of gold players on the bench. Also, if you guys haven't known or if you're new to my channel, tomorrow we're going to have the next trading to a team. I think it's the third team we're trading to. It's going to be quite insane, guys. We're going to be... Uh, it's going to be an incredible journey on that one in itself. But up on screen, we're up against a 4-3-3 fourth version Brasilva side, and he does have Ngueba. He's a very quick right winger in the game. Plays with Sam Paulo, and you guys know in the past I've had issues with him, but he's the first guy to get a shot on off the first touch, and making it 1-0 over there into the 15th minute, and I decided, you know, let's go around. Got to find my way through. I was getting a bit bullied. My player was getting really pushed off the ball, and eventually we got the ball into Glahe Galeheb. I think that's how you say his name. Um, goes with a finesse shot, and he finds the back of the net, so... We get a 1-0, 1-all um, equaliser over there to start the game. Then Alabed, this guy's a really insane left back, uh, left mid. He's very quick. At the same time, it's very fun to utilise his uh, skill in the game. He's a four-star skiller. But here, a nice bit of skill combination from Torres. One thing you guys will probably know, <laughs> I'm not um, the best at skill. I just like to play around and have fun and chill out when I do skill. So uh, that's one thing I do. And here in the 45th minute, he does get that 45th minute header, which is the double whammy, and I decide, you know, let's go, and uh, I started doing a ball roll over here, went to the start of this combination, I'm using that player, I think it's our centre mid, Gahleb, and uh, he does find a shot over there, which will get us a corner, so just before half time, we get an equaliser over here with Al uh, Mudwala, and he does pick up the equaliser over there to make it 2 all. so... At half time, not looking too bad. We had a little uh, higher possession. However, we had a couple more shots, and I feel that is the recipe for success in this game. Just having a couple more shots. Now, it does almost pick up an equalizer, but great defending. And our defenders, both our center backs, are very quick. But the only issue is they do split the um, defense quite often. So that would be one thing. But Neto Brola picking up a goal over there. Couldn't chase that guy down. His pace was insane. And uh, sadly, we lose. But. I want to know from you guys, actually, this is going to be the question of the day. Have you noticed people have moved away more from skill and they've gone into just cutting back all the time or crossing? I want to know your guys' opinion. Do you feel that's too much in the game at this moment in time? Now, I've noticed that because a lot of YouTubers have been doing ping slips and uh, really making the game over competitive. And that's led to people trying to win at any cost. And that is, I feel, kind of made everyone just so desperate for going for those headers and uh, just going for those cutbacks so that's what I feel guys let me know what you think do you feel the game has become way too competitive and less enjoyable so let me know down below what do you guys think on that but 
We're into the Division Decider. Well, actually, this is the Division title game. And we get over there with Diamante. One absolute crazy volley. And it, Keeper makes a great save. We're up against a Borussia Dortmund team. With the exception of uh, David Alaba and Mr. Uh, Philip Lam in form. So our opponent picks up a goal over there. I tried copying him because I'm not good at crossing. Many of you guys know I'm still learning how to cross because I normally like to play down the middle of the field. Don't like to go up for crosses. And this guy picks up a 2-0 lead. I was literally um, kind of shell-shocked at this point because I'm not a person who crosses. Neither do I score headers very often. And then he scores a third. And on top of that, to add insult to the injury of Guarine scoring an own goal. So... Yeah, it was 3-0 at half time. I was not too happy. And then I said, let me try a cross into the back post. As I'm learning the double tap and the triple tap and also the softer crossing in this game. So as soon as I learn all that, I should be able to probably abuse that crossing ability in this game. But nonetheless, I like to play around a bit more with the skill and dribbling. And over here, he counters me very quickly with Lewandowski and a little bit of a roulette. And Abate absolutely disengaged. And over here, he's not even able to uh, chase Lewandowski down. And he will go and pick up another goal to make it, I think, 3-2. No, that's 4-2. So quite an insane scoreline at this point in time. Six goals in this game. And then to add it, or we get a goal with Mario Gomez, which was uh, some sort of consolation. But then the defense absolutely switched off again. And he gets free with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, the current guy who is now playing at Dortmund. Last year, I think he was in the League 1. And uh, now over here, Gundogan going in with the uh, shot. Falls down to Aubameyang, and he will tap that in for, I believe, the sixth goal of the game. So he scored a, well, his sixth goal of the game. So 6-3, final whistle. And I just really couldn't understand. I had so many shots, but my opponent managed to pick up the win. So we'll still pick up the promotion. We'll be in Division 3 for the next episode. We've got 7,200 coins from the promotion. And you can see there, that's the player I picked up for 400 coins. Sold him on for 600 coins profit, which was not too bad. I didn't actually realize at the time it was uh, just one of those freak moments of just picking up a player by accident and then selling them on for a really good profit. So not too bad over there. But nonetheless, we're going to use our Saudi League side for the last game of this episode. So yeah, guys, let me know. Do you feel the game has become way too competitive and less enjoyable? really do let me know that down below because I feel the game is way too competitive now and everyone is just all about crossing the ball. So we're up against the Spanish side. I think we're starting the Silver Clash again. And also what I will do is make a new team for... I'm thinking about making a hybrid, but more or less, guys, I'll just make a skill team just to have a bit of fun. You can see over here with some skill with Torres. He'll flick into a roulette, going for the shot. And the keeper making an absolute quality save to keep us out early in the game. But my opponent does find a cross into Matilla, and he does make it 1-0. So I decided let's go straight from kickoff with a uh, scoop into a McGeady spin over there to get past the second defender. He's kind of tailing me, using a bit of dribbling. Ball roll into Victor, and that thing finds its way off the post. On the rebound again, but the keeper makes an outstanding save to uh, deny us from getting a goal. But then here my opponent was being a little bit cheeky. I went with a roulette, got past two defenders, finesse shot into the side, and Victor will pick up the equaliser there. But that was kind of short-lived, as he did go for a shot instantly after that, and Javi Guerrero picking up the second goal for my opponent. So at this point, it was 2-1. Victor Samoz, though, however, going to find a through ball into an open Torres. Finesse shot into the side, and that was making it all square to all. Now, we did get a crossing over here, guys. As you can see, I was trying to learn the crossing ability in this game. As soon as I learned it better, though, I will be much better at uh, getting crosses in. But after that, as soon as I did that, my opponent matched me, literally. Uh, tick for tack, and he equalized over there, making it 3 all. And then just before the halftime whistle, Victor over here, using his incredible dribbling ability, getting past almost three defenders. Finesse shot into the side, and we'll pick up the goal that will take us. So seven goals before half time. We're leading 4-3. Uh, and uh, this is quite an interesting game, I must say. But here, Torres going to go with a bit of skill, going for the scoop into a roulette. And I was trying to see if I could win that penalty because this guy was definitely a very strong opponent defensively. Just trying to break him down and get into his brain was the most hardest part about this game. Just trying to find those breakthroughs. Now here, we got a uh, our five-star skiller from the Saudi League, Alfredi. And uh, we tried to go with a uh, finesse over there, but the defender keeping us well away from the goal. I think at this point, we'd already scored a hat-trick with uh, with Victor. So he's got a hat-trick already so early on in the game. 
Now, Alabed going over there with a bit of skill. And I think that is how we're going to wrap up this episode. It did end over there. Yeah, Victor picked up a hat trick. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Tomorrow will be a training video around about 2 or 1 a.m. in the afternoon. No, 2 a.m. 2 p.m. Yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. This has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.